Welcome back to another episode of Heads Redeemed. Our topic of today is going to be so interesting. If this is your first time of coming, you are welcome. Our returning subscribers will say welcome. But just for our new viewers, please make sure you subscribe, like, and share. And I tell you, I promise you, you will be happy you are part of Heads Redeemed. Today, we are going to be looking at diabetes and driving. So, if you are a driver and you know you are diabetic, please make sure you watch this video to the end. Do not stop halfway. There are useful information that you will benefit from. So, if you are a driver and at the same time living with diabetes, you will have to inform the DVLA if you are living in the UK. And with this, there is an extra care, an extra follow-up, especially if you are a public transport driver. This is what we are missing in Nigeria. For example, there is no check in place to check drivers who are diabetic. And the, to make the matter worse, some drivers, they don't even know they are diabetic. So, that is why now Health Redeem, in collaboration with a training company here in the UK, have put in place a system to make sure drivers are able to check themselves. They become aware and know what it takes to have diabetes. You know the signs and symptoms. And then you know how to always check yourself so that you don't endanger yourself or endanger the public. Because... Driving is the type of profession which needs concentration. And in this case, you need to always check yourself and make sure you follow the rules. Because driving is something that needs a lot of concentration, anything that will cause the driver to lose his or her concentration should be avoided. That is why drivers are advised to always check their blood sugar two hours before they start driving. And if they see that they've been driving for a long time, they should also look for a safe place to park and test their blood sugar. There is a blood level concentration, blood sugar glucose level or concentration that is recommended for drivers. If as a driver, you may, your blood, I mean, sorry, as a driver, your blood sugar level should always be above 5 millimole per liter. But if paraventure, you measure your blood sugar, you check, and it falls to 4 or is below 4, which means you're going hypo. And what do you have to do? Park your car in a very safe place, leave the driver's seat, Remove your key from the ignition and move to the other side. And then quickly eat something that has a fast-acting um, fast acting carbohydrate that will quickly boost up your sugar level. So that is what is recommended. Make sure you switch off your engine, leave the car seat and move to a safer place. We have now come to a very, very important part of this uh, episode. That is, if you are diabetic and you drive, or driving is your profession, please ensure you listen very carefully. What Heterodim is advising is, if you fall into this category, you have to go for a regular eye test. I will give you a very good example. Uh, some time ago, I was traveling along Benin Lagos Express Road. And before we could get to Lagos, there were so many accidents on the way. But because we are so religious in our country, people tend to link these accidents to uh, one demon or the other. Some will say it is the work of the witchcraft or the work of the cut people who are living, that whenever they want to drink blood, they come out in the afternoon, they come out during the day, and they cause accident on the road. I'm not here to debunk that. What I'm here to tell you is that 
diabetes is one of the major conditions that could lead in no time to a loss of vision. A person can have two eyes wide open, but still they cannot see with that same eyes. But some will also have their vision blurry, and the driver, is, which means the driver is not seeing very well. And he's a driver, he's driving. You are letting him take you to where you are going. So what do you expect? If there is anything, he's not going to see it clearly. So he's not going to act on time. He's not going to stop on time. So we need to be very, very careful. And there, there are some drivers, they have what is called tunnel vision. So which means there's to an extent what they can see. So this is why it is very important that all drivers go for a regular eye test. And that is what we are preaching in Hedge Redeem. So many people have lost their life on the way as a result as a result of this or uh, mistake that or uh, as a result of this error that could have been a we could have been able to correct if we know what to do on time so my preaching or what hetero dim is saying is that if you are a driver and you are diabetic please do come out speak to us if you need our help we are in benin city at those state we want to help people i know help is not cheap you don't pay as much as you think we are abroad we're in diaspora but we will be charging as we charge in nigeria so we're not going to look at it and say charge you abroad and we have doctors qualified optometrists that will carry out a proper test for you and make sure you have the right strength of glasses if you do need one so please please do come out as a driver test your eyes regularly if you know you are diabetic do not endanger your life or the life of others There is another problem, it's a major one, that I would like to draw your attention to. And what is that problem? Is that a good number of people, including drivers, they knew they have diabetes. But the problem is, they don't know what type of diabetes they have. Is it type 1 or is it type 2? They don't know. If you ask them the question, they can't answer you. All they know is they have diabetes. Okay, fine. So I see that as a major problem because if you know you have diabetes and you don't know the type of diabetes you have, then we are not going anywhere. And as a driver, if you have type 1, there is a different tailored management in place compared to someone who is type 2, who is type 2. Now, moving on, when it comes to type 1 uh, diabetes, the only way you can manage it is by taking insulin injection daily. 
there is the fast acting and there is the long acting, short acting included. So, in another episode, I'll be discussing the differences in the different insulin. But what we want you to know, type 1 is only treated with insulin injection. Now, carrying on from there, what we are saying is you have to learn to go for the right test. Make sure you are diagnosed with the right type. If you are told you are diabetic, ask your medical doctor what type of diabetes am I having? Is it type 1 or is it type 2? I'm only talking about these two types because gestational is only or for pregnant is only found with pregnant women so i'm not like generalizing that but for type 1 and type 2 it could happen to anybody so the key is going for the right test let them do the right investigation and know the, uh, the type of diabetes that you have because type 1 and type 2 they are treated differently and if you don't know where to go do not hesitate to contact us. We have a very good laboratory in Benin City and then you get your results immediately. If you are living abroad and you are concerned about your family, please do contact us. We will send you all results. Everything is electronic. You can log on to our system and you will see your results. So please, for drivers, you need to know the type of diabetes you have because it requires a tailored management system to be put in place for you. Do not just treat yourself yourself. Now, we have spoken a lot about diabetes and drivers. Where should we start from to tackle the problem? Don't worry. Health Within have designed something that will help us fight and break out of this prison of ignorance. And this will help us to take action. In order for us to come out of this uh, prison of ignorance or medical ignorance, is for us to become aware. So now, wherever you are, at any time that is convenient for you to study, you cannot do so. Hair trading is so much motivated to bring health awareness to the African community, not just Nigeria alone or just a do state alone, but to the African community. There are about 700 related health awareness courses that we have designed and put in place in collaboration with Flares BUK. These courses are accredited and they are recognized in the whole of UK and it is CQC recognized. Anyone can take part in this course from wherever you are. So do not waste time. Enroll. What does it cost you? Just like me and you and a kid going to McDonald's. That's what it costs. And then again, this certificate is going to last you more than a year. The validity is long, so you need it, and we all need to come together to be medically aware.